Hi, this video is a part of machine learning from scratch playlist. In this playlist, I explain different machine learning algorithms implemented from scratch using Python. You can download the relevant Python files from the link given in the description of each video. Note that I do not code along, rather I make use of pen for explaining the tricky parts of code so that you people can read the notebooks and Python files and understand them yourself and of course re-implement them yourself. I'm expecting my audience to be well versed with machine learning, general understanding and they just need little hints for implementation of algorithms from scratch. Now in this video, I'm going to explain development of Lasso regression using coordinate descent. I hope that you know about Lasso regression, which is very similar to linear regression where we have input features linearly combined with the associated weights. However, to mitigate overfitting and variance in the model, Lasso regression also try to learn weights by minimizing the absolute of all the weight values in addition to mean squared error. This is done to not allow larger weight values for any single feature. Doing this simple trick really decreases the overfitting and even moves weights for certain features to even zero. So, Lasso regression can also be used for feature selection and it is really sometimes used for feature selection and finding for the feature importance. Now, the absolute value sign makes the cost function non-differentiable. So, simple gradient descent is not viable. We could implement a method called subgradient descent. Instead, we will use coordinate descent, uh, which works by fixing all the weight except weight i and uh, find the value of weight i that minimizes the objective function. We will look into detail of it uh, using the notebook. So our first step is to normalize the features. Once normalized, this is done to minimize the magnitude effect of each feature. Once normalized, so we predict the output by uh, linearly combining the weights and features. Then we compute the cost. First of all, we compute the mean square error, which is prediction minus output whole square and sum it. Then we find the L1 part by taking the absolute values of all the weights and adding them together and then multiplying it by lambda. Lambda is a regularization term which has an indirect relationship with uh, which has indirect relationship with uh, overfitting. Uh, so greater the lambda, lesser will be the overfitting. Lesser the lambda, greater will be the overfitting. Then we apply the coordinate descent step, which is basically choosing the ith feature. We can also call that coordinate. We can also call that a dimension. Once we choose ith feature, we choose the weight for that ith feature such that to minimize the cost. How do we do it? I'll explain it in a bit. But uh, we repeat this step one and two for each of the feature in cyclical order. So that's why it is also called cyclical, uh, cyclical coordinate descent. Now, coming to the most important part, we actually calculate this function, which I call ROI for each feature, in which uh, the value of ith feature, the output minus prediction, which is basically error, the ith weight and the ith feature, all of these values are used and they are summed together to find out the ROI value for that ith feature. Now, based on that ROI value, if it is less than minus lambda by 2, then the new value of ith weight will be ROI plus lambda by 2. If it is greater than lambda by 2, then it will be equal to, the new weight value will be equal to ROI minus lambda by 2. But if it is in between minus lambda by 2 and lambda by 2, then the new weight will be equal to 0. So, first of all, this 0 is very important. Why? Because a uh, lot of features weight once become 0, it means they are completely, uh, they are completely discarded. Uh, so, it is also used for feature importance for feature uh, engineering, in, in case of feature engineering task. Lasso regression is also important uh, for that task also. Now, the explanation of mathematics and intuition behind all this, all this, all this, um, uh, method that I have just explained uh, for minimizing the cost uh, is explained in a lot of the books and you can find it out very easily in, uh, in, in, you can, in, in you can Google it very easily. If you're interested, just go ahead. I'll be implementing it using Python. Okay, we start by importing to create which is actually a kind of scikit-learn and pandas combined. Then we have a, we have a data frame. Uh, we predict the house sales data, which is which we have already used uh, in linear regression and range regression example. So we convert the data frame into NumPy array. We also add the intercept term, a constant feature. Then we predict by linearly combining features and weights. We normalize the features by dividing L with L2 norm. And then we uh, implement the coordinate descent, which I've already explained, this part and this ROI part. So if, uh, so if we use these two simple features and this output, so we normalize these simple features and we initialize the with uh, random weights. We predict using those random weights and uh, simple feature matrix and we initialize uh, ROI with zero values, but then we calculate ROI value for each of the feature. Then we look at the in range, in L1 range, basically uh, this logic is implementing this thing. So if ROI is in between minus lambda by two and lambda by two. Once done, we look at this lasso coordinate step, descent step. And what was that step? That step was 
after prediction look at the roi value for that feature uh, and then if it is i is zero it means if it is interceptum then we do not regularize uh, rather the new weight will be equal to roi value so if it is not so it means if it is not interceptum in that case we look at roi if it is less than minus lambda by two so the new weight will be equal to roi plus lambda by two uh, if it is greater than lambda, uh, l1 penalty by two uh, lambda by two so the new weight will be equal to roi minus lambda by two uh, otherwise if it is in between the range so it will be equal to zero that is what i've already explained now in cyclical or cyclical coordinate descent we just uh, do the same thing but for all features in cyclical order unless we converge and how do we uh, look at the convergence we have a tolerance value we look at the uh, maximum change if it is uh, less than tolerance then we say that okay we have converged otherwise not okay so we have input as a feature matrix output initial weights and penalty and uh, tolerance so given the feature matrix so d contains the total number of features and uh, weights contain initial weights uh, initially uh, initialized randomly initialized weights so we have change uh, and the change will be equal to uh, zero for each of the uh, weight for each of the feature uh, once convergence uh, will be uh, like looked at by this so initially convergence has not been okay while not converge we look at each of the feature we find out the lasso coordinate descent step for each of the feature and we find out the new weight for that feature we assign the new weight for that feature for that single feature idx we assign the new weight and we look at the change in weight for that feature by taking the absolute value and we store it uh, for that feature the change for that feature after completing the cycle we look at the maximum change the ch maximum change that has been occurred in any of the feature if the maximum change is less than tolerance then we say that okay we have converged otherwise uh, the process repeats itself unless we converge and uh, we return weights so using these initial conditions, we apply this lasso regression, we find the weights, and then we also evaluate, with, evaluate it with more features by randomly splitting it uh, in 80-20. And then we use a lot of different features. We again use different um, initial, different initialization conditions. This whole thing is like really simple. The, the logic has been completed. Now this whole part is just the application part. So we find out the weights. We look at the weights. If you look at the weights after applying a lasso regression, there are a lot of the lot of weights are zero. It means these features are really not important. So I mean this is really great. Uh, so we could use it for feature uh, importance and uh, feature engineering. Okay. Uh, this is uh, this is this whole uh, notebook further notebook contains uh, exploration of different weight values uh, and one thing that we have to look at is this rescaling of learned weights because uh, either we have to re we have to scale the test data set or if we don't want to scale the test data set then we have to rescale the uh, weights that we have learned because the weights we have learned uh, are normalized because they were learned uh, using the normalized feature so how can we do that we only divided by the uh, l2 norm that we already had used uh, in the first step for normalizing the features just 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 uh, let me show you oh yeah here is the norms so this is the norm that we have we had already used uh, i think so now the whole thing is clear the main function is this cyclical coordinate descent and this lasso coordinate descent single step i hope so you will be able to implement it from scratch yourself